Mayabalika before embarking on a hunting expedition not only reflects a cultural tradition, but also reveals the spiritual dimensions intertwined with their everyday lives. Agriculture, as another integral component of Bakanjo life, reflects a dynamic relation, dynamics, the dynamics of agriculture and animal husbandry portrays a diversified livelihood strategy, enhancing both food security and economic resilience within the community. This harmonious balance with nature is indicative of a cultural ethos that values sustainability and resourcefulness. Marriage customs and social structures provide insights into the intricacies of Bakanjo societies, the rare traditions that endurations, maintaining stable family structures and adhering to societal norms. These customs serve as pillars of social identity, providing continuity and cohesion within the Bakanjo community. The impact of education and modernization on Bakanjo culture is a nuanced interplay between preservation and transformation. While certain rituals, like Ulhasa, have waned in the face of external incommunication, said a community stave asked The Kanjo people's cultural richness is a multifaceted tapestry that interweaves spirituality, hunting traditions, agricultural practices, and intricate social customs. Their ability to navigate the complexities of modernity while preserving the essence of their cultural identity exemplifies resilient testament to the enduring spirit of a community is intricately woven as the Bakanjo people's kind them. The Bakanjo kind into the fabric of their daily lives revealing a harmonious coexistence with the mountainous landscape they call home. Their spiritual beliefs, anchored by the reverence for two supreme beings, Kalaisa and Nyabarika, serve as a guiding force in both practical and ritualistic aspects of their existence. The construction of shrines, dedicated to these deities on the slopes of the Renzori Mountain signifies a deep, rooted connection between the Bakanjo Kanjo and the, the Bakanjo Kanjojo. Agriculture too. It is a cultural ceremony, a communal endeavor, and a spiritual engagement. The use of traditional instruments such as spears, Nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, underscores the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal hunting troops, governed by established rules and rituals, emphasize the collective nature of this ancient underscore the spiritual dimension, the fabric of their to fabric of their their daily lives of Bakanjo livelihood, evolving with time to include both subsistence and cash crops. The cultivation of matok, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans meets the community's dietary needs, while the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflects their adaptability to changing economic landscapes. The dual focus on agriculture and animal husbandry reveals a diversified approach to livelihood and hence economic of their societal framework.
Practice of early marriage, with girls often wedded at the age of, or highlights a cultural norm that has persisted through generations. Marriage negotiations, bride wealth obligations settled in goats, and the rarity of divorce underscore the importance placed on maintaining traditional family structures and societal norms. These customs serve as markers of social identity and Kanjo community, the Kanjo people community, the Kanjo Hacharity, Customs. Their ability to adapt to external influences while preserving core elements of their identity highlights the dynamic nature of their cultural heritage. As the Bakanjo navigate the challenges of a changing world, their rich tapestry of traditions remains a testament to the resilience and vitality of this unique community in the mountainous terrain of East Africa. Unlike the Bakanzo, perform circumcisions without grand celebrations. With almost every Mukanzo male being circumcised. In the past, ritual circumcisions were held in Bundabijo, performed by Bamba tribesmen. However, since anyone with the expertise can perform circumcision, be it at the hospital or by a family member. The Kanjo are commonly shortened to Kanzo. In Uganda, the Pakanzo are an important ethnic group of about people, yet in Congo number is much more and is banand. They all belong the world. They are all, they are all, they are sent self the fastness of their hills in times of turmoil in the plains, which has rewarded them with a rare social stability in both Uganda and Congo over the last decades. The Bakanzo bear themselves with great dignity, are conscientious about education, and that wonderful core spirit of conservative African vows and modest manners. The exact structure of Nebarika is not known. He is believed to be the most powerful spiritual being. He had the padding expeditional being. To be pleased. Kalaisa was regarded as being very important mainly with respect to hunting. Since hunting was a cherished occupation among the Bakanjo, one can tell the power and importance of Kalaisa too. On the southern and eastern slopes of Rowenzori Mountain, the Bakanjo used to construct shrines dedicated to Kalaisa and Nabarika. The shrines would be made of bamboo sheaths. They were too small for a man to enter. They are said to have numerous of the Numamba rivers. Pairs. The larger huts were slightly over one meter high. A food offering of matuk or chicken was placed on the stakes between the two huts. Hunting was a very important activity among the Bakanjo. Although it was enjoyed as sport, more importantly, it was a source of food. Skilled hunters occupied a place of importance in the society. The main instruments of hunting included spears, hunting nets, bows and arrows and ropes. The Bakanjo also kept tibogs, bogs, into the mountain foothills. Thank you for watching up to this point. Watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, 
You are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Guide.